Two Metro police officers tonight are pleading not guilty to charges after shooting a man who was sleeping in his grandmother's driveway. That shooting was caught on a police body cam. Friday, a grand jury handed down indictments for two of the officers involved. Tonight at 6, we're hearing from both sides as this legal battle grows. Our Karen Campbell kicks off our coverage tonight by sharing how Anthony Macklin is recovering tonight and what his family and his attorney are now demanding. Anthony Macklin stood surrounded by family, friends and his attorney Monday inside Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, addressing IMPD officers who shot him as he slept in his car in his grandmother's driveway on New Year's Eve. You guys do not know what I have been through, what you guys put me through that day. And um, you know you guys did something that just wasn't right. Three officers, Chief Randall Taylor and the city of Indianapolis, now facing a civil rights lawsuit. The family is also calling for the officers to be suspended without pay following indictments. A Marion County grand jury handed down seven felony accounts against two of the officers who fired 30 shots into a car where Anthony was sleeping, not committing any crime, not threatening anybody, not doing anything that deserved a barrage of bullets that day. Macklin continues to recover nine months later and has incurred nearly a million dollars in medical bills. When he shifts back and forth, it's a good possibility that the bullets that are still in him can move. Through the pain, Macklin says one thing kept him going. Again, I just want to show just how much God has done for me because I just would not be here if this was not for him. In Indianapolis, Karen Campbell, 13 News. Now, the two police officers accused of wrongfully firing their weapons at Macklin that day were in court for the first time today. Our John Duran continues our team coverage tonight at 6 by talking with their attorneys who say both of those officers acted within the law. A trial date is set for IMPD officers Chandler and Gregory, charged with seven felonies for unlawfully shooting Anthony Macklin in December. Macklin's attorney spoke alongside him and his family Monday. We applaud the prosecutor for doing his job, doing an end around IMPD's attempt to brush these cases under the rug when it comes to criminal accountability. The decision to indict the officers came from a grand jury made up of Marion County citizens. Attorneys for the officers say a grand jury hearing isn't the same as a trial. The defense attorney is not allowed to be in there and question people and cross-examine people and call witnesses on behalf of the officers. It's a one-sided prosecutor presentation. Macklin's attorney claims the officer's supervisor, Lucas Riley, who was on scene that night and allegedly fired a shot at Macklin, paid for their $3,000 cash bail after Monday's hearing. What sends a better message that we got your back what you did is not wrong, then the supervisor who should have prevented that is the one that's paying their bond. The officer's attorneys say that didn't happen. It's not appreciated when people talk about facts that they have no idea of. The bail was paid by each individual officer. The Macklins also filed a civil lawsuit in federal court on Monday. The family says the objective of that suit is to get compensation for Macklin's medical bills, his inability to work, and emotional damages. We will be encouraging the city to uh, vigorously defend this case because we believe the officers acted appropriately and that they should not be paying out any judgment or settlement on this case unless and until a jury determines that they were in the wrong. I don't think the evidence is going to uh, bear that out. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News.